everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have sort of an explanation slash tutorial video for you guys. And today, we're going to be creating, or we're going to tell you how you can create your very own WWE Retribution Faction figures. And so, right here, we have the full squad in front of us. I'm going to go through each member and tell you guys exactly how you can do it. Now, there are a few things about this group that I want to go ahead and make notice. All right, so the first thing you'll probably notice is I don't have the Mia Yim figure, the Mia Yim basic just yet. I will be getting that very soon and I will replace one of these with the Mia Yim figure and make it look better because obviously these head sculpts are not Mia Yim. This is Zio Shirai and that's a Lita figure. So obviously that's not going to fly for, you know, Reckoning or Mia Yim, whichever one you want to call her there. So I do need the Mia Yim figure and also for Retaliation or Mercedes Martinez. I don't think she's part of the group anymore. I know that early October she was a part of the group and then I think she got disbanded or they sent her back to NXT or something. So she's no longer with the group, I don't think. We didn't see her on Monday Night Raw. I don't think so. She's probably not part of the group either, but if you guys wanted to add her to your uh, to your faction here, I went ahead and accounted for that, so I do have both members, not only Reckoning, but I also have Retaliation in here, so let's go ahead and dive into it. I feel like we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something, like all these crazy names, but let's go ahead and dive in, guys. We gotta start off with the leader, and the most important aspect of the, of the faction of Retribution has to be Mustafa Ali. Now, Mustafa Ali, I think his figure is actually worth a pretty penny right now, but this is the Elite Mustafa Ali. I wanna say he was a part of Elite Series. What Elite Series was that? Was it 69? Was it 67? It was Elite 69. It was Elite 69 because I remember how damn good that wave was. It was probably the best wave of all time of WWE figures. It was freaking crazy. It was, it was insane. That that Elite, that that whole Elite wave was it was nutty. But anyways, here we go. We have Mustafa Ali. This is the Chase variant version in the red. I just like the red better. I feel like the, the yellow kind of stands out too bright or whatever, but you do have your main member here. We're probably going to get an updated Mustafa Ali down the line. I'll probably create one maybe. I don't know. We'll see about that. I'll see what I can do for you guys about creating a brand new Mustafa Ali or an updated Mustafa Ali. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below. But just your standard Elite 69 Mustafa Ali with the mask, with the vest on because he looks better there. He does have his interest hands on. I feel like the gloved hands look better for the Retribution style there. But there is Mustafa Ali. So, you know, you just need to buy the Mustafa Ali. There are many basics out there. I think there's even a gray and black basic Mustafa Ali that would probably look even better. And you wouldn't have to worry about paying as much for the Elite if you guys wanted to, but make sure you put the mask on there, because if you don't put the mask on there, he is smiling, and that'll probably throw off your whole illusion of retribution, so you do want to have Mustafa Ali with his mask on and everything like that. Now, diving into our members, we already talked about retaliation and reckoning. Now, if you just want to make reckoning, if you want to make reckoning, I highly suggest you buy the brand new Mia Yim Basic. I don't have it just yet, so I couldn't make it here today, so I just have one of these lay. I guess I could have Io Shirai sort of replacing her, but once you get that Mia Yim figure, guys, just go through your cloth accessories, you know, your long shirt hoodies, your black shirts, your black jackets, uh, any black t-shirt actually. You can take a black t-shirt, like a bow leave t-shirt, like your regular Seth Rollins t-shirts with the burn it down with your shield shirts, whatever cloth t-shirts you have that are in black. Go ahead and flip those inside out. Let me go ahead and grab it, uh, grab an example for you. So you'll take a regular shirt. You guys see this is the Battle Club t-shirt. All you have to do is flip this inside out and then put it on and then bam, it's a plain black t-shirt. It'll cover up the skin tones. It'll cover up anything they have underneath so that's very easy this is the elite 47 rock t-shirt or long shirt or jogging shirt whatever the hell that warm-up shirt he used to wear when he was trying to cover up his man titties that is the shirt that came with the elite 47 rock you can put that on a figure this is the elite 72 becky lynch uh jacket i just threw it on this lita from the battle pack this is a really good base for either member because once you get the mia yim you could uh i think her bottom half is already perfect and her top half is pretty much perfect too all you gotta do is throw some cloth accessories on there and another main portion is is there's a lot of different masks that you can use for the Retribution members, but for the women specifically, I would highly recommend you use Elite 69 Mustafa Ali masks, so you may not have a bunch of Mustafa Ali's laying around, so if that is the case, they may have some of these on eBay, I'm not exactly sure, but I have a baggie full of masks right here. I think Kalisto's mask, any Kalisto mask that came with Kalisto, I mean if you really wanted to do so, you could probably make some with some paper possibly, maybe I can do a tutorial on that. I've bet you could make some that are actually really accurate, better shape. If you guys have the Shield 3-pack from Walmart, you can use those masks that came with that. I know those go on the figures really well. So Kalisto, Mustafa Ali, the Shield masks. I feel like there's some other masks that you could use possibly. They're just not coming to my brain right now. But if you guys don't have a bunch of copies of that, then I would recommend then uh, just putting on, you know, Triple H masks or, or putting on something that you have laying around. Or you could make your own using paper. I think if you drew it out, again, I'll probably do a tutorial on it. All you gotta do is draw the shape 
shape of the mask and then cut it out and then tape it behind them after you color it black. I mean, not, not too hard, you know, not too crazy. But nonetheless, that would be your two women's members. Just put Mustafa, I think Mustafa Ali masks work better. I just think they look better. They're, they're the same shape and everything like that. But again, Mia Yim basic, Mercedes, Mercedes Martinez, I would use this Lita basic unless you guys uh, don't even want to add her because she's not even part of the, the group anymore. But let's move on to the other members, guys. First up, we have Mace right here. And for Mace, this one's actually decent. I'm actually kind of proud of the way this came out. So for my base, I used a Roman Reigns. Now, if I were to use, you could probably use maybe a darker skin tone, but I felt like Roman Reigns had the perfect skin tone. What I did first was I switched his arms out with rock arms, which I did not realize that he had tattoos. So if you wanted to make it even more accurate, I would use uh, probably rock arms, but the left arm, you could use his uh, the, the newer updated rock. So the one that has the tribal tattoo coming down a little bit more, use that because he actually has a tattoo right here and that would make it look like that tattoo. And you can even use the bigger biceps with the with the Brahma Bull right here because he does have tattoos right here, but I don't know how accurate they are. If you want to get really crazy, you could use a Roman Reigns arm and you could switch the bicep with a different lower bicep. So put this bicep on this. That way he'd have the full tattoos right here, but not on the lower part of his arm and he'd have the shoulder tattoo, which it would look like Roman Reigns, but with all this other gear going on, it's going to look like Mace. So I don't know. If you want to get really, really detailed, you could do that. I didn't realize he had all those tattoos till afterwards, but I also switched out his hands with Elite 37 Seth Rollins hands to give him the full gloved hands. And from the from the crotch down, I mean, it's per pretty much perfect. He wears black pants and black, you know, black baggy gear and boots. So, I mean, that totally works out. The skin tone, like I said, looks good. And then I took another one of those Elite 47 Rock shirts like you guys saw on the Io Shirai over here or the Reckoning figure. And I cut the sleeves so that it was shorter because you guys know he wears kind of like a sleeveless hoodie v-neck type deal and this is uh what the result was so it looks like the shape and then i co of course did throw on some elbow pads because he wears elbow pads and then i just use an elite 38 roman reigns head sculpt because since the mask is on there i mean it it pretty much works roman reigns doesn't have dreadlocks but this is pretty close i don't think we have any uh head sculpts with long dreads like this maybe booker t but you're going to be able to see the skin tone difference you also have kofi kingston but again you're going to see the skin tone difference and all i did was just throw an elite 42 triple h entrance mask on there because this kind of looks like it it's not perfect by any means but it totally gets the job done again if you're just trying to make a pick fed retribution or you just want an updated retribution this is sort of just a thrown together retribution that you can make so that is for mace i, I think it works out good these these masks right here for uh for the ladies and then the mace and the t-bar i think they worked out great so moving on to t-bar all i did was took a luke gallows elite i threw on the elite 13 cody rhodes jacket because it's a hoodie you could probably use the finn balor leather jacket you can use a custom hoodie you could use uh other things but those are just the ones that i used i felt like this looked the best you can see the skin tone coming through he has the gloved hands on already i don't even know if he wears gloved hands does he wear i think he i think they all wear gloves i don't know anyways you have the gloved hands on there you got the long pants and plus luke gallows is super tall so i think t-bar is supposed to be six seven and mace is supposed to be six six they're very very close but the biggest thing is that you want them to be tall compared to the rest of the group and it just works out they look like the damn ginyu force over here but for t-bar all i did was throw the black jacket over the luke gallows until the, you know there there's probably a better formula for these guys out there i just haven't figured it out just yet i probably am in the process of creating my own custom retribution figures but until then i am still uh, gonna roll with this with this formula uh again same elite 42 triple h helmet on here and the head sculpt isn't perfect by all means it's not perfect by any means but i still think it gets the job done again you're gonna have the helmet on there and it's just to kind of stand around and do things like that and all you gotta do is leave the helmet on there and it works as a standalone mask if you want to get real crazy you could paint the head sculpts and you know they have the dark makeup on there and you could do some more details you could even switch out the head sculpt and put a different head sculpt that you think works better because this doesn't look like Dio Madden it doesn't look like Mace this really doesn't look like T-Bar in the face but when you put the masks on there it totally works for what we're trying to accomplish here and for our last figure for Slapjack all I did was took a Dean Ambrose Elite from the Shield 3 pack I threw on the Elite 23 JBL long sleeve shirt because he has the black underneath. He's got the black crotch and legs and all that. He has the black tape wrist, you know, wrist tape on there that makes his hands look taped up or like he's wearing fingerless gloves. He may even wear full gloves. If you want to do that, all you got to do is switch on some more gloved hands from Elite 37 Seth Rollins or something like that. And then for the mask, I just use a Jason NECA mask. I don't think if it matters, you know, part three, part four, part six, part five, it doesn't really matter. All you got to do is throw that on there and bam, you could even custom paint it if you want to. I have a ton of these. I don't think I'm going to custom paint this. I think if you wanted to get a more accurate mask, getting 
the Dream Sequence mask from the Part 5. Part 5 Jason G Dream Sequence, it comes with that VHS cover head sculpt, and if you took that and you hollowed it out and put that mask on there, that'd probably be your most accurate looking mask or closest one, but until then, this is what we're rocking with, and it looks decent. You know, it's not too crazy. You could tell it's a Jason mask, but uh, it still creates the same effect. It's a mask guy. He's got the black on, and that is pretty much our Retribution faction right there. Again, probably a better formula out there, but I wanted to give you guys my best effort right now. This is what I've got so far. Again, Mia Yim. Definitely need Mia Yim if you want to make this as accurate as possible, or you want to make the best, you know, best version there, but there is the Mustafa Ali mask on the women. I think that looks best, and then you have the rest of them, guys. I would love to know down below what you guys think of my retribution. It definitely looks better than what I had. I, I, I used to have just random guys like Brock Lesnar and stuff with Triple H masks on, but I put a little bit more thought into it, a little bit more detail into these. And another thing, if you guys don't have any, you know, figures with black pants or anything, you could also use jogging pants from Brock Lesnar, from The Rock, from other guys that have came with black jogging pants and just throw these onto a figure, and that could give you your jogging pants look if you wanted to do that. And if you don't have any of these masks or anything like that, guys, I highly suggest me either making your own using paper or cardboard or something, and then you could just use regular masks. Even if they're gold, man, just F it. Just throw them on there. They gotta have masks, though, because that's what Retribution does. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for how to make your Retribution figures. I would love to know what you think of it down in the comment section below. If you made your own Retribution, if you made your own Retribution members and things, please let me know down in the comment section below. I also know that the Dean Ambrose head sculpt is also not perfect for Slapjack, but it does for now, and it's under the mask, so I, I, I really don't really care about the likeness that much. Mustafa Ali probably care the most about Mia Yim probably as well because they kind of, you know, you can kind of see what they look like more often, but the hair and the mask kind of get covered anyways, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Before we get out of here, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to Bullet Boy for this comment on our last video. During the intro, can you bring back the extended version? R used to love when JBL would say this is brilliant. So he's referring to the older version of the intro where JBL chimes in and says, this is brilliant or whatever he says. So maybe I can plug that in random videos. If you guys would like, let me know down in the comment section below. And I also, since I missed the shout out in our vlog yesterday, I want to make up for that and give another shout out. So we're going to have two shout outs today. And this other shout out goes to Luis who says, my target has the legends and I collect Steph Curry shoes. So huge shout out to Luis for this comment. His target has the legends. Pick me up a John Brown Eddie Guerrero, bro. I'd really appreciate that. But he says he collects Steph Curry shoes. I've actually never owned a pair of Currys. I've thought about it multiple times before. I never pulled the trigger. I really wanted a pair of fours. Um, I've ver been very close to purchasing some sixes and sevens before. And I'll probably end up doing it in the future, but I just haven't. But huge shout out to Luis and Bullet Boy for their comments. So please leave me some comments down in the comment section below, guys, for a potential shout out in a future video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.